Good Monday evening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful weather out there today. But luckily, we stay dry. Uh, it's been a rarity over the past couple of days for us. And as far as temperatures go, another seasonal afternoon, not too far away from average for us. And that's been the case for close to a week now. We did have a little warm up Sunday and last Tuesday with those high temps hitting the 90s, but no 90s in sight for the next seven days. So it does look like our temperatures will uh, stay pretty warm again tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually looking like our warmest day for the rest of the week, but no 90s in sight. We are going to stay uh, right where we should be, if not even a little bit below average most days this week. Here's a live view over the Savannah River from our southbound smokehouse camera. Beautiful evening on tap. We're still in the low 80s here just before 8 o'clock, and temperatures are going to stay pretty warm this evening into tonight. We're mostly clear at the moment, and that should continue through at least the first half of tonight. Once we get into daybreak tomorrow morning, we could likely see a few uh, clouds out there with temperatures bottoming out into the low and mid 60s. We do look mostly dry through lunchtime tomorrow, and honestly, even through uh, most of the afternoon. It's not really until we get to past five o'clock tomorrow to where those rain chances do look to ramp up across the area. This will be a few hit and miss showers and thunderstorms across the area that show up around sunset last in the early Tuesday night, and then we're back to generally dry conditions by early Wednesday morning. Wednesday, we're still going to have a front around the region. That's going to likely kick up a few more showers and thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon with those highs back at least into the mid 80s. So here's going to be our setup. We're just going to have this front that's going to meander across the two state over the next several afternoons. Whenever you have a front around, it just helps lift up those showers and thunderstorms, especially when you add in some good daytime heating. So that's going to be our setup tomorrow. Uh, remember those rain chances really look to peak as we get closer to sunset Tuesday. Wednesday morning, mostly dry. Wednesday afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms. We are going to continue those rain chances Thursday, but what's going to be different Thursday is that our wind direction is going to be changing out of the northeast. So that's going to bring us what we like to call the wedge. It's going to be somewhat of a wedge event for us to where we see cooler than average high temps. We're only hitting highs in the 70s by Thursday, and you can see we'll have some pretty decent rain chances with us as well. So a wet, cool, and cloudy Thursday on tap once we get a little bit later into the week. Here's our rain chances over the next couple of days. So for tomorrow, rain chances really peak once we get after six o'clock tomorrow afternoon, not ruling out that maybe there's a stray shower before that, but it really looks like the majority of our rain chances will be Tuesday evening. Once we head into Wednesday, cannot rule out an isolated shower really at any point during the day, but it would be similar to where those highest rain chances would be mainly into the afternoon and portions of our Wednesday evening. Here's a look at how these rain chances are spaced out over the next couple of days. So Tuesday, hit or miss showers and storms showing up in the evening. A little bit better coverage of rainfall Wednesday, especially into Thursday. And then we do start to notice some drier air show up late into the week between Friday and Saturday. And those temperatures Friday and Saturday don't look too bad whatsoever. Should be very comfortable outside. Uh, with these rain chances over the next several afternoons, these are going to be thunderstorms. So we know with thunderstorms, they produce some torrential rain. And if you get underneath, right underneath that heavy rain, you could quickly pick up an inch plus of rainfall. So this is what this map is really emphasizing. Remember, whenever we show you rain totals like this, don't focus on a specific amount for a specific location. So even though Waynesboro is showing four inches of rain, that's obviously an outlier and just would be kind of that one isolated spot across the area that maybe just sits under a couple of thunderstorms two or three days in a row and just picks up those really heavy rain totals. But for the majority of us, we generally stay less of an inch, but there will be those sweet spots to where uh, those heavy rain swaths will just be riding through with these thunderstorms and we can see some isolated flooding issue, uh, some isolated flooding issues. So a heads up, if you flood easily, there is going to be some heavy rain at times over the next several days. Uh, but what's really impressive is the temperature drop later this week. Take a look at this. So we'll go from highs in the mid to upper 80s Tuesday, Wednesday to seeing high temps only in the mid 70s by Thursday afternoon. And we will see some pretty high rain chances during the day Thursday. We're back to dry weather Friday and Saturday, mostly dry. Uh, it's obviously getting kind of that time of year to where you can't say it's a 0% chance of rain any one day, but it does look very low for rain chances between Friday and Saturday and we'll actually get some mornings back down into the upper 50s. So that's also a sign of that drier air being in place and helping lower our storm chances. But late into the weekend, another front is expected to show up by Sunday, and that could bring us a few isolated storms as we close out this incoming weekend. Uh, but hopefully enjoy the dry weather the rest of this evening. We'll have an update for you coming up on News 12 at 11.